My name's Mark Stewart. I'm the chairman of Ballard Spar. Tell me about the challenges in the legal market and how you've adapted and what you see on the horizon. When I started at the firm as an associate, I, like all the other associates, said if we were going to be successful as lawyers at Ballard Spar, we would inherit clients. We had The firm had a number of clients that had been with them for years, and if we did our job and we, we worked hard, someday that client would be our client. Um, and that's just not the case anymore. Clients are under, we know this, extreme financial pressure. So uh, we have to bear some of that risk. Um, they need to see that we have skin in the game and we're, we are with them. And uh, so that changes the economics for a law firm. I mean, I preach to my partners and I preach to our non-partners every day that this is a battle. This is, you know, we, the, the excellence of our legal work is a given. Clients expect it, we expect it of ourselves. Beyond that, what are you going to do? You're going to have to be creative, you're going to have to get results, you're going to have to get them, you're going to have to get them in a way that maybe clients wouldn't have to surprise clients with your creativity and how you're going to get to the result they want. Uh, and that's, th that is the biggest change, and I, I don't see, I don't see our ever our going back to the old way. There was a time when a top law firm shunned criminal and white-collar defense work, and that's part of what got you to New York. Talk about that shift. I think the real answer is that big law firms thought they could make money off it. The big firms didn't want to sully their hands with dealing with criminals. I guess that's the way they, they saw it back then. The lines have blurred between what was traditionally white collar and what is now litigation and regulatory help. And at the same time, um, it is an area of extreme importance to our clients.